Music of Ludwig von Beethoven, his wind octet in E-flat major, opus 103 for paired oboes, clarinets, bassoons, and French horns. Music dating from the year 1792. You heard members of the Netherlands Wind Ensemble, the recording, a recent Philips issue. Twice each week we broadcast 10 seconds of Dolby calibration tone for those of our listeners with Dolby Type B decoding equipment. I'll transmit that tone after a word about a program coming up later this evening, our Library of Congress Chamber Concert, which will begin at about 10.15, following our newscast and arts report. The Juilliard String Quartet is resident ensemble of the Library of Congress, and this evening they'll be heard in music of Mozart and Beethoven, two string quartets, the Mozart, number 22 in B-flat major, Kirscher listing 589, and the Beethoven work, number 12 in E-flat major, opus 127. Also, music of Prokofiev, the sonata for two violins, featuring violinists of the Juilliard String Quartet, Robert Mann and Earl Carlos. That's the program for the Library of Congress Chamber Concert this evening, this Saturday evening at 10.15. And now for listeners with Dolby Type B decoding equipment, here are 10 seconds of calibration tone. Nine minutes past eight o'clock, you're tuned to Minnesota Public Radio, a listener-supported service. Broadcasting in cooperation with the St. Paul Ramsey Arts and Science Council, this is KSJN 91.1 FM, Minneapolis, St. Paul. The National Weather, the National Severe Storms Forecast Center, rather, has issued a tornado watch for northwest Minnesota, southeast and North Dakota, and portions of central and northeast South Dakota, it's in effect until 11 this evening. Tornadoes, large hail, and damaging thunderstorm winds are possible for these area areas. The tornado watch area is along and 70 miles east and west of a line from 40 miles east of Pierre, South Dakota, to 40 miles northwest of Baudet. The area in Minnesota included in the tornado watch lies northwest of a line from northwestern Big Stone County through Fergus Falls and Bemidji to the Canadian border just 20 miles west of International Falls. Also, a special weather statement, an area of showers and thunderstorms is approaching or has approached the Rochester area by this time. The National Weather Service made this report at 7.30, at which time the leading edge of the activity extended from the Mississippi River east of Minneapolis, southeast to the Austin area. This activity extends westward to Redwood Falls. These thunderstorms are moving eastward at about 30 miles an hour. The heaviest activity is over Maurer and Freeborn counties in Minnesota. Brief portions of locally heavy rain and gusty winds can be expected in these two counties, along with frequent lightning strikes for the next one to two hours. Local street flooding is possible in poor drainage areas. Coming up right now, an International Music Festival concert, which are made possible on NPR in part with funds provided by General Mills Foundation. From Radio Nederland, Holland Festival, 1977. This is Robert Haslack. The Rotterdam Philharmonic Orchestra presented on June 10th a rich program of music by three composers for the 1977 Holland Festival, Mozart, Rossini, and Rachmaninoff. Dedicated as it was to the theme, The Human Voice, one might have expected an all-vocal program with New Jersey-born mezzo-soprano Frederica von Stade. Instead of the obvious, however, Edo de Waart conducted a rewarding blend of vocal and purely instrumental works, each revealing new facets of the other. Rossini's overture to La Scala di Seta set a festive and pleasant mood to the evening. <laughs> 